hope you're here. How are you today? I hope you are happy and fine. Well, today is Thursday, the 11th of June. We are going to check pages 42, 43, and 44 from the exam IC master. Remember, you have to hand in your brainstorming from unit uh, one, from chapter 1 to 4, sorry. We are going to revise conditionals 0, 1, and 2 with unless otherwise otherwise provided that okay so we are going to work on pages 73 74 and 75 you are going to um have as homework pages 44 exercises 1 and 2 45 46 exercises 1 and 2 from the exam maximize and i put study for the global yes because because next class i want to uh, revise more or less um the topics yes okay like a mock exam yes okay plus the the pages yes from the units but uh, remember next week yes we have the exam okay is it clear the 18th next thursday okay so study please i have already sent you before for you to organize yourself to put um, everything in order okay is it clear so let's check the pages 42 43 and 44 uh, remember to put a tick if it is okay across if it is wrong okay so, um, well uh, student a 1 4 and 6 student b 5 exercise 2 1 box 2 look 3 probably 4 imagine Five might, six definitely, seven other, eight seem, nine sure, ten must. Remember to hand in the brainstorming because I need the brainstorming. Yes, okay. Yes, uh, well, of course you have, must uh, must have done this, yeah, but. What I was about to say is that I need the brainstorming and your uh, comments and what the story is about, yes, because this is for Nota de Literatura Complementaria, complementaria for your grades, the uh, report cards, from the report cards, okay? Use of English, let's go there to page 43. Unfriendly, impatient, disloyal, irresponsible, irresponsible, unlucky, incomplete. Exercise two, helpful, thoughtless, three, powerful, four, harmless, five, useful, six, colorful, colorful, numbers three, unexpected, hopeful, impossible, satisfaction, activities, effective, musical ability yes okay always remember to check everything all the corrections i have done yes if you don't check what i have corrected the cycle is not finished yes okay good um impossible number four satisfaction number five activities number six effective Number seven, musical, and number eight, ability. Vocabulary. Injury. Ambulance. I will show you so you can see, yes? Okay, protein and everything. Yes, in case you get lost. In case you get lost. Remember to put pause, okay? Injury, keep, ambulance, twist, protein, painkiller, shape, treatment, balance, regular, okay? Good. Exercise two, protein number one, two, twisted, three, shape, four, keep, 
five injury, six balance. Yes, okay. Exercise uh, three. From page 44. One, benefits. Two, down. Two, down. Three, aching. Balanced. Catch. Out. Expectancy. Blocked. Picked. Medicine. Okay? So this is done. Bye bye activity book. And we go to the pages very quickly 73, 74, and 75. Yes? 73, 74, and 75. All right? Good. buy us health and happiness okay I don't think so yes okay but this is done yes 73 yes I thought we were talking about that yes about uh, you know uh, Walter and Jesse yes okay hey Jesse yes all right well we were talking about that and we Agreed, yes, that a money doesn't buy happiness, okay? Good. So let's go to page 73, 74 and 75, okay? I want you to go to, first of all, to page 100, 153, that is the grammar reference, yes, okay? Let's go to the grammar reference, okay? Remember, all the grammar reference must be highlighted, is it clear? All right, so you know we have all the conditionals. We have conditional zero, if present, present. Yes, if I study, I learn. We have conditional one, if present, plus will. If I study, I will learn. We have conditional one, if plus, okay. Uh, conditional two, if plus past, would, infinitive. If I studied, I would learn. And we have conditional three. If I had studied, I would have learned. I did with it. I did it with the same example for you to focus. Okay. So now I want you to go to this page. Yes, page one hundred and fifty-four. One hundred and fifty-four. Yes, one hundred and fifty-three. Yes. Okay. And highlight the grammar there. And 153, the conditionals, conditional zero, conditional first conditional, yes, conditional two, if on L, conditional three también, the repasto, yes, if plus past perfect, plus words have past participle, la tercera columna, okay, good, well, I think you don't have problems with conditional, so I want you to do it at home, to write one example each one, okay, if sentences, one example each one, with the structure there, in your notebook, in tu cuaderno, okay? And then, yes, pause the video now, of course, yes, okay? And then we go to work in pairs, it says read the comments from people who watched the program on page 72. Which program has each person watched? Have you ever said, say, pa 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 pa, if people eat chocolate, a certain part, a certain part of the brain lights up. Well, this is true for me. Number two, have you said if people, if someone collapses with a heart attack? I think I would be too frightened to try anything myself. Yes, I agree with this. If I drink glass of milk, if I drink a glass of milk, my muscles will feel better very quickly. Yes. Okay. Good. Well, so I want you to read it. Yes, read the comments again and match the underlined phrases with conditional from A to C. All right, so let's go very quickly to pages 73, 74, and 75. Are you there? Good. Well, so I want you to do exercise 1, exercise 2, exercise 4, exercise 5, and exercise 6. All right? Are you there? Good. 
So, number, uh, let's count. Yes, all right. Number one, A. Now is the time that you pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. One, A. Two, B. Three, A. Four, C. Exercise four. One. Exercise three, yes, okay? Yeah, one, two, sorry, and four. Number one, first conditional when we are talking about the result of something that might happen in the future. Two, we use the second conditional when we are talking about something that is imagined, yes? Imagined situation. If I were you, I could buy that t-shirt. No es a nunca was. Okay, good. So it is imaginary situation, yes? Okay, it's imagined. Yes, number three, we use the zero conditional when we are talking about something that is always true. If you study, you learn. Yes, okay, good. Um, mm, 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 exercise five, one true and two false. Exercise six, I don't feel, I don't sleep, feel, have, would cycle, doesn't feel, won't be able to, did, good increase, five, go, will tell, six, were, good advice. Okay? Is it clear? Good. So let's go to page 74. Yes? Okay? Alternative medicine. Yes? Do you believe in or have you ever tried alternative medicine? Yes? No? Okay? Um, could you like to try? Yes? Have your parents tried alternative medicine needles and all the stuff? Yes? Okay? Um, well, so you have homeopathy, yes, A, B, C, and D. Acupuncture, yes, the things with the needles, yes, okay, good. Um, the medicine that you use needles and everything, yes. I'm a friend. My mother has tried at least mm, three times, yes, and it was okay for her, yes. She felt better after the sessions, all right, but I don't know. Yes, I think if you need, then you try. Yes, okay, then you try. Good, so let's go to the listening. Yes, are you there? Good, and it says, um, have you ever heard of any of this? Do you know any other alternative therapies? I want you to read each of them at home. Yes, okay. Aromatherapy, yes, okay, those um, Flores de Bach, yes, okay, they say that they are better for your concentration and everything, yes, okay, well, good, so let's go to the listening, yes, okay, I think uh, when you are very sick, you try everything, yes, okay, so you're going to listen to four people talking about different therapies, Match the therapies from A to D in activity one with the speaker from one to four. Listening focus. Activity two. One. Well, a rugby player I know told me how it helped him get over his injuries more quickly. So I thought I'd give it a try. So you have to take off all your clothes except for a pair of shorts and a mask. Unless you wear a mask, your face will get frostbite. Then you go into this incredibly cold room. My first session just lasted three minutes. Five minutes is safe, provided you get out quickly. If you stayed another three or four minutes, you'd be dead. It has helped my knees a lot, but I know it won't last forever. You should have regular sessions, otherwise the pain comes back. Two. I had tried so many things to help with the pain in my back, but nothing seemed to work until I went to the clinic. I wasn't really a believer. In fact, I thought it was nonsense, but I was ready to try anything as the doctors couldn't find what's wrong with me. It was strange lying there as someone stuck needles in different parts of my body. I noticed a big difference after one session and after the third one, the pain had disappeared. 
This doesn't mean that I'm a convert to any alternative treatment, but this really worked for me. Three. Well, the theory is that any kind of weakness or injury appears directly in the iris. It has an interesting history. A Hungarian doctor noticed that when a bird, an owl I think, hurt itself, a black mark immediately appeared in its iris. Of course, this was easy to see, as owls have such large eyes. As the bird got better, the mark went away. The doctor then developed a map of the iris that related to different parts of the body to help with diagnosis. This is all very well in theory, but a couple of recent experiments showed that the technique was only reliable half the time. This is a shame, because it sounded a really interesting theory. Four. It's based on the idea, you know, that an illness can be cured if you take, in a medicine or tablet, a little bit of what caused it. Like if someone is allergic to something. The trouble is, I just don't see how this works in practice. I mean, they use such tiny amounts that it's a bit like putting a spoonful of salt in the Atlantic Ocean. It's an interesting idea, and I'd like to believe it, but common sense tells me that this can't possibly be true. All the same, there are loads of people who think the treatment really works and believe that it has cured them. But maybe they would have got better anyway. We just don't know. All right, so we have two. A, speaker three, B, speaker four, C, speaker one, and D, speaker two. Remember at home, you can listen again. Yes, okay, number three. Remember to do the activities and then listen to the answer. Pause the video. Three, speaker one D, speaker two E, speaker three B, and speaker four A. Exercise four. Do exercise four, complete, and then listen to the answers. Over, get over. Two, mask. Three, frostbite. Four, session. Five, a convert. Five, six, owl. Seven, cured. And eight, better. And then you have speaking. Pongale speaking. I want you to write speaking in exercise five and on page uh, 75, speaking. Yes, okay. ¿Por qué? Porque te va a ayudar para organizar, to organize your ideas for the final exam. Okay, could you uh, try any of these therapies? Uh, yes, I say yes. You have to answer at home, talk about this. Yes, okay. I could try, yes, if I feel very bad. Yes, for example, I could try acupuncture, for example. Yes, okay. Um, popular therapies were acupuncture, um, and then I have the other one, um, aromatherapy, yes, okay, and um, well, among others, yes, okay, well, um, are there any other traditional alternatives to ordinary medicine that people in your country use? Well, okay, these are the ones I know, yes, aromatherapy, aromatherapy, uh, acupuncture, yes, I have never tried, but I have seen, you know, I told you my mother tried, has tried acupuncture, and after many, at least three or four sessions, she was better, yes, and then I have some students that have uh, tried uh, uh, flores de back, yes, back flowers, uh, flowers of back, yes, back, and I said, they say that uh, their children were better, they could concentrate better, and I have some friends that did the same, that are at university and they could concentrate better. Yes, and on, yes. if I have problems, I try everything. Yes, okay. Um, I want you to go to page 154 again. Yes, and then you have the examples. Remember, you have for the uh, global exam, you have to study, you have all the grammar charts here, all the words highlighted, yes, unless 
has the meaning of except of if not yes we'll have a picnic unless it rains si no llueve yes okay good otherwise has the meaning if not but introduce it results stop playing with those matches otherwise you'll burn yourself yes stop eating junk food otherwise you will continue um uh, getting waste yes okay good uh, provided that um, as long as has a similar meaning to if yes i lend you my camera provided that you promise to look after it i um will go to that place with you as long as you take care of me yes is it clear so i think you don't have problems with this which it is because it is a review yes so concentrate with unless because unless uh, with this one is the one that you make most uh, more mistakes okay so concentrate yes okay good um good so let's go to exercises one two three and four exercises one two three and four from grammar focus okay how much sleep do you need at least six hours yes we've already talked about this topic before i think and how much sleep do you get the thing is that uh, i know that i need uh, i we need at least six hours but i am sleeping less than six hours and this is wrong for your health i really know that but sometimes we have a lot of work to do we have a lot of corrections things to study so uh we don't sleep what we should yes okay so this text is very very interesting and i want you to read and you highlight examples with unless with otherwise yes okay and then do exercises uh two three yes okay and four all right and five i want you to put um speaking there with red with an extra color okay one at least eight hours at night yes at least six between six and eight yes okay number two uh five yes okay number two five yes good um let's go to exercise three yes unless or otherwise provided that are used with second conditional okay so i want you to have this into my into your mind yes okay Póngale ojo para acordarte. Yes, unless, otherwise, yes, and provided that, yeah, are used with second conditional. Mm -hmm. All right, is it clear? Good. Provided that you study second conditional. Okay. Remember, you have the zero if present present. The first conditional if present future and the second conditional if past good infinitive if you yes provided you studied you yes okay provided provided that yes you studied you would pass the exam okay is it clear good um mm, 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 mm. Right. Now I was I thinking if I wanted to say mention something more. Yes, but that was all. Yes, okay. Um exercise three. Are you there? Number one, unless or if. Yeah. Okay. Do you understand this? Okay, I want you to highlight this, yes, okay? Do it at home because if you are Yes, you will forget. Okay? Unless young people get at least hours, eight hours of sleep, sleep, they won't be able to concentrate. Provided that all the par parents agree, we shall make da-da-da. 
Otherwise, yes, we, we feel terrible the next day, okay? Decide which of the rules from one to five is false, okay? It's not, yes, okay? So pay attention here, yes, okay? Number five is false, yes, okay? Unless, otherwise, provided that are used with second con condition, and that is wrong, okay? This is false, okay? Queda claro? Both, unless, and otherwise, are used if not. Two, unless it's used to link two parts of a sentence. Three, otherwise is used to refer back to previous clause or sentence and we use provided that instead of if to make conditional stronger. Y la cinco es la que no pincha ni corta, perdón, eh, porque por ahí eh, le hice subrayar mal, eh, ok? Highlight the words there, yes, I'm sorry. And um, the question what was which is the false, yes, ok? Is it clear? All right, good. So uh, let's go to exercise three. That was what I was thinking about. Yes, no le cerraba la teacher. I'm sorry. Yes, okay. Number one, unless or if. Number two, otherwise. Yes, okay. Unless, if. Number three, provided that. If, provided that, if, otherwise. Yes, okay. Exercise four. Pay attention here, yes, because this is a very difficult exercise for some people. I must get an early night, otherwise I will feel tired. I must study, otherwise I won't pass the exam. Yes, okay. Number two, Annie and I are going to watch the football match tomorrow unless it rains. Or, unless it rains, Annie and I are going to watch the football match tomorrow. A menos que. Yes, llueva. Yes. Number three, provided that we've got enough money, we'll go on holiday in August. Number four, I put on sun cream, otherwise I get rushed in the sun. For uh, you will have problems with your teeth unless, this is five, you go for a checkup soon. Or the other possibility, unless you go for a checkup soon, you will have problems with your teeth. Okay? I will lose weight quickly. Provided that I cut down on sweet and biscuits. Provided that I cut down on sweet and biscuits, I will lose weight. Yes, okay. And exercise five. Yes, tell your partner about plans you have for the next few days. Or what might stop you. Okay. And I want you to write here, yes, examples with unless. For example, I will go to Tom's party unless I've got too much homework. Yes? Okay, plans. Yes? I will, you know, study. I will correct unless I am sick. Yes? Is it clear? Yes? I will um, go out unless my car, yes, breaks down. Okay? Is it clear? All right, well, you, you can't get out of your house now. But it was just an example, okay? Bueno, que quede claro entonces el ejercicio 1 uh, de la página 75. La falsa, la regla falsa era la 5. Ojo ahí, eh? Okay, que la teacher... Yes, okay. Uh, but at least I correct it very quickly, okay? Good. Yes? Well, so um, that was all. I want you to complete the homework. Uh, exam maximizer, pages 44, 45, 46, only the exercises that you have in the photo pizarra. And then study, because I need you to study for next week, because next week is near and you have the global exam, alright? Bye bye, happy weekend, see you next class, bye bye, fit year.